Welcome to Special Sauce. I'm Vikram Rajan, co-founder of Video Socials. And I'm Charlie Uniman, founder of the Legal Tech Startup Focus Community. And we're your hosts of Special Sauce Videos. The premise of Special Sauce is short and simple. It's short, less than 15 minutes, and simply we invite legal tech founders to demo the one unique aspect of their software or product. You know, you could find their full demo elsewhere, but what makes them stand out from the crowd? That's their special sauce. And I'm happy to say uh, that today's guest is Kevin Miller, the CEO of Pittsburgh-based Legal Sifter. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you, Vikram, for having me. Yeah, welcome, Kevin. Uh, are you uh, ready to screen share and demo your special sauce? I am. Thank you so much. All right, let's let's do it. Let's keep it short and simple. The floor is yours. Well, Legal Sifter makes contracts easier, and we're a combined intelligence company. So we use artificial intelligence and human expertise to solve those age-old problems that we all have with contracts. You know, contracts are the most important document in global commerce, and they are universally a pain to keep track of and negotiate and read. So we have two products, Legal Sifter Review and Legal Sifter Concierge, that gets at the heart of those issues. Legal Sifter Concierge, which we'll not demo here, is a contract librarian service that says to the world, you know what, you're not very good at curating your contracts, that's not very core to you, send them to us, we'll extract your data using AI and human expertise, we'll organize it for you, just like you're depositing money in an account, you get it all back in a software so you can manage your money, you'll get the same thing with contracts, deposit them with us, we'll organize all your metadata for you and keep them straight. We're going to focus on that solves the problem of people just can't organize their contracts. Legal Sifter Review is what we're going to focus on here. I'm going to show you our, our special sauce. Uh, it reads contracts and gives advice. It's intended to be used before you sign a document. And it gets at the age old problem of contracts are hard to read and negotiate. In every contract negotiation on the planet, at least one party is on another party's paper. And here I have uh, in Legal Sifter Review, I've already sifted this document. I have a sample end user license agreement as if I'm the buyer of this software uh, from McAfee, which is a publicly available document. And here our software has reviewed this document, uh, read it out of the box and told you as the user what's missing from this document that's important as a buyer. So for example, there's no audit and inspection of books and records, for example, that maybe you want or um, maybe you want some clarity on data ownership that you own the data inside of this EULA and the tool is telling you that that information is not there. It comes out of the box with expertise, which is our strategic secret sauce. Uh, and it tells you, you know, not only what's missing with expertise, but also what's there. So if you need help on you know, the right to transfer this software or who owns what in intellectual property, you're gonna get some in-context advice uh, from us written by experts in the space. And whether it's you know, a EULA or a lease or a non-disclosure agreement or a shipping agreement. Here's a non-disclosure agreement, for example. It's gonna give you different advice out of the box in a minute or two uh, with just, you know, frankly, um, a simple subscription to our tool. And so are your users, your customers, uh, so to speak, um, commercial uh, people, like people in business, or is it uh, ultimately a law firm that's using it on behalf of a client or how does this work? All of the above. So 85% of our clients are companies or universities or small and local governments. 15% uh, are law firms. And uh, most of our users, I think a slight majority are still uh, attorneys or paralegals or out of the legal space. But on an, at an, increasing, uh, on an increasing percentage, and we would expect over time this will flip the other way, uh, more of our users are non-lawyers. And the reason for that is because, as you know, most contracts on the planet's planet are not read by and negotiated by an attorney because we just can't afford to send everything to our attorney. Yeah, I particularly like that last aspect of your software's use, that it can uh, work outside the in-house legal department and, um, and, and permit a much more efficient and uh, cost-effective way of having business people of all stripes manage uh, their contracts and if they want to work with attorneys it's 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 lawyer friendly too so i i uh, applaud those aspects of your special uh, of your special yeah. sauce 
Thank you. And, and for attorneys, what we say to those inside counsels who are frequently overworked, what we say to them is, look, your entire team would love to use you, but because you have too much on your plate, you're too expensive and too slow. And outside counsel is oftentimes too expensive and too slow. We're happy to use those people for our most strategic and sticky contracts. But the everyday contract that we, we engage in as business people, you know, we'd love to have our attorneys look at it, but it just doesn't make sense. What the tool does is it gives me uh, a way to give our procurement team, give our sales leadership, our IT leadership on those you know, moderate to lower level contracts, a second set of eyes. And what's great about the tool is it comes full of advice, but then that advice can be configured by inside counsel if they so choose. So it's a way for us to project the brain of that inside counsel into every contract review at that organization in a way without the tool you just can't do. Wonderful way of putting it. And, and there is a trend uh, away from um, just uh, legal tech to enterprise tech in, in, that engages the entire enterprise when it comes to things like contracts and, and contract management and analytics. So, so very good. Yeah, we're, 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 go Sorry, go, go on, Kevin. Go on, Kevin. As it relates to law firms, we actually have uh, a unique go-to-market uh, strategy there where we recognize, and I'm coming to you as a former chief operating officer of a couple hundred million dollar business who's managed a lot of legal, uh, legal folks internally and externally. And I always wanted to use outside counsel way more than we could, but we couldn't because of cost and speed. What we're going to outside count, going to outside law firms and saying, listen, we believe the future of the legal profession is that you're going to become a software and service organization, just like every other software that does what you do with with artificial intelligence you can we now have a little bit of we can do a little bit of what you can do so we go to law firms and say listen this is different put your advice into this tool co-brand it and sell it to your clients alongside your full service contract review practice because chances are you're only getting four five ten percent of the contract volume you would otherwise get if you were cheaper and faster uh, than say a full service review and marry up a software subscription with your full service solution. And now your clients who want more of you anyway, have a way by proxy of accessing you 24, seven, 365 at a cost and a speed they can afford. Yeah. Perfect marriage of the sort of work that lawyers went to law school to do. And that is exercise their, their, their best judgment with um, the sometimes uh, new idea, uh, but growing ever more popular, uh, productization of law firms offerings. So putting those two together is a, is a very, very powerful um, uh, arrow in the uh, quiver that law firms have. Operationally, yeah. yes. And also from a, a marketing and revenue perspective for that everyday firm boutique to large scale firm, it gives them potentially another revenue source and, and a modern one at that of utilizing AI technology, which is a, a nice buzzword for a law firm to be able to employ in their services and their offering. So uh, kudos to you, it's good special sauce. Thank you so much. Well, that was just, just the sort of demo I, that I'm sure will attract users to Legal Sifter. Uh, Kevin, what's the best way for our viewers to get a hold of you and Legal Sifter and uh, and get uh, a full demo uh, carried out for them. So a couple different ways. Uh, certainly go to our website at legalsifter.com. We have uh, many demos on video on the site. Uh, you can chat with us there directly, get in direct contact with us immediately at legalsifter.com. You can also send us an email at help at legalsifter.com. You can also send an email directly to me at kevin at kevin at legalsifter.com. We also have a phone number on our website uh, 724 plus one, 724 221 SIFT, S I F T. Very good. All right. Thanks, Kevin. And Thanks, guys. as a viewer, as a viewer, I'm sure you enjoyed this episode of Special Sauce, the Legal Tech Video Show. You can watch other episodes on our YouTube channel. If you'd like to nominate a Legal Tech founder as a guest, uh, please email me, Vic, V I K, at videosocials.net or Charlie at Legal Tech Startup Focus. Dot com. The information will be on the end screen right after this. Thanks.